Deep within the Takuno Islands lies a fortress shrouded in mystery and menace, the Citadel. Hidden behind layers of illusion and guarded by some of the most skilled assassins and mages the land has ever known, it is a place spoken of in hushed tones by even the bravest adventurers. At its heart resides Travesty, the ultimate changeling, a creature born of malice and mastery over deception. To those who stumble into her lair unprepared, Travesty first appears as an unassuming, butterfly-like figure, her fragile form belying the danger she represents. But as challengers draw their weapons, her true nature emerges. With a shimmer of dark energy, she mirrors the form of her attackers, becoming a twisted reflection of their own skills, strengths, and weaknesses. Facing Travesty means not just battling a peerless boss. It means battling oneself, magnified by a sinister intelligence and empowered by an unrelenting thirst for destruction. To confront this terrifying foe, one must first navigate the labyrinthine secrets of the Citadel itself. Gaining entry into the Citadel begins with a quest gained from Soraki the Notary, who is found outside Castle Britannia in Britain, choosing either the Black Order badges or evidence quests. The mission winds through the Takuno Islands, involving Tiger Claw assassins, cryptic notaries, and hidden passages. Those who succeed find themselves in the Citadel's shadowy halls, a maze of traps, illusions, and secret doors. Spike traps at the floors, often unavoidable, while hidden ninjas ambush the unwary. Every corner of this place is designed to frustrate and deter all but the most determined. To summon travesty requires three keys, each guarded by a lieutenant of the Citadel. The High Executioner, whose blade thirsts for blood, guards the first key. The High Executioner can be found through a hidden door in the Citadel's first room, in the northwest corner. Secret doors throughout the dungeon are visible by enabling the Circle of Transparency, which is best left on while exploring. Be wary of walking on the carpets in this area, as doing so usually spawns groups of enemies that must be dealt with before progressing. The yellow key drops on the High Executioner's corpse. The Master Thief, lurking in the shadows, holds the second key. The Master Thief is found through a hidden door to the north of the Citadel's first room. Like the first, this blue key must also be collected from the corpse. An alternative stealthy approach using summons, such as tactically placing a rising colossus and a greater demon near mobs, and casting invisibility, can make this task more manageable. The third key belongs to the Grand Mage, who hides in a deadly chamber surrounded by assassins and mages. The hidden door to his area is southeast of the Citadel's entry. This is the most challenging key to acquire, requiring adventurers to either defeat or bypass several groups of enemies. Characters with high stamina can often run past mobs, but the foes here carry substantial amounts of gold, making them worth farming. Once through the winding passages, the Grand Mage is found, and the Red Key is collected. In this final area lies the hidden doorway to Travesty's peerless altar, a simple wooden table. Each key must be dropped on the table, yielding three peerless keys with a nine-minute timer. These keys can be shared with party members. A teleporter to the garden area can be found in the northern corner of this room. Each key is a trial unto itself, demanding skill, strategy, and endurance. Only by uniting all three keys at the Citadel's key table can the gateway to Travesty's lair be opened. Inside her chamber, the battle begins simply but quickly escalates into chaos. Travesty's polymorphic ability is her greatest weapon. She doesn't just mimic your appearance, she adopts your fighting style, skills, and abilities. Warriors find themselves facing their own strength turned against them, while mages contend with their own spells wreaking havoc. A bard may find themselves and their party repeatedly discord, a potentially fatal scenario. Her ability to use special weapon moves such as disarm or dismount, combined with powerful spellcasting, adds an unpredictable edge to the fight. As her health dwindles, she summons waves of ninjas and assassins, further complicating the battle. It's a test of endurance as much as skill. The key to success is relentless offense. Any pause allows Travesty to heal and summon reinforcements, potentially turning the tide in her favor. Yet, with preparation and cunning, her vulnerabilities can be exploited. 
A party with diverse skills often fares best, though even solo adventurers can prevail with the right mix of strategy and determination. Victory against Travesty can also yield special rewards. Among the treasures she guards are the Mark of Travesty, a tribal mask offering skill bonuses tailored to adventurers' needs, and the tragic remains of Travesty, a chilling trophy that embodies her dark power. Rarest of all is the Imprisoned Dog, a crystalline creature of enigmatic origin. Among these treasures, the Eye of the Travesty stands out as a prize coveted by crafters and mages alike. This rare ingredient, always found on her corpse, is essential in crafting the Pendant of the Magi, a masterwork necklace that grants a plus 10 intelligence bonus, mana regeneration plus 3, spell damage increase plus 5%, lower mana cost plus 10%, and lower reagent cost plus 30%. This value is immense, often selling for hundreds of thousands of gold pieces. However, crafting it requires not only the Eye of Travesty, but also an elusive tinkering recipe scroll, making the pendant a symbol of wealth and expertise among the crafting elite. The Citadel is more than a mere dungeon. It is a crucible of peril and mystery, demanding wit, strength, and determination in equal measure. At its heart lies Travesty, the ultimate arbiter of its trials. This peerless boss is not merely a monster, but a reflection of the strengths and flaws of those who dare to face her. For those who emerge victorious, her fall is the culmination of an unforgettable journey. For those who fail, her mocking laughter echoes through the citadel, a grim reminder that she will always await the next challenger.